so happy you're here. We daily vlog. Hope you like this video. I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you like if you like this video, come back tomorrow. They're going to Disney World. Just like that, two of the Brookharts are in Disney World. He's having a go-go squeeze. He is, uh, you know, a bit perturbed. He's been locked up, mangled, getting told to sit behind the line, sit on my lap, stay in a pressurized tube, not going to hot car seat that's not your car seat. So we, uh, we're going to Magic Kingdom. Quick, but it's my favorite way to get to Magic Kingdom is the ferry, and I got James a front row seat <laughs> to a nice cool breeze and a beautiful watery vista on the way to the Magic Kingdom. Alright, so looks like we got typical Florida afternoon rain coming in. I think we're gonna come for the stroller, but we have an umbrella, so that works out. And we have an hour until our wonderful friend Sarah was up. security and getting on the, the plane and not having access to anything while on the plane so she actually got a genie plus which is cool because it's just for me like it only has to be online because James doesn't have a ticket yet and she snagged us two genie or like lightning lanes so far uh, both for 115 to 215 which rain's supposed to be here and it's Peter Pan and to the Haunted Mansion and I feel like we've been missing Haunted Mansion the last couple times and then we can grab another one at one o'clock I think so we might make a very productive day at the Magic Kingdom. We walk in, right as it starts pouring, not pouring, but like big heavy raindrops. Get ready. Right as the Princess Cavalcade. Oh, we know. Right as Festival Fantasy passes, it stops raining. I think we stayed dry enough. That was a poor memory if I ever experienced one watching him watch those characters. We gotta meet characters this weekend. Uh, I think I'm gonna restate it because it's not quieter. That was worth everything. That was a core memory if I ever experienced one. That was insane to see just walking in Magic Kingdom to Festival Fantasy as it was like heavy raining and the characters was just like Let's just embrace it. And James was just so happy to see every single character. Um, I think we need to eat. We got about 45 minutes before our lightning lanes start. Megan is going to meet up with us in a little bit. I highly doubt the next stage show is happening until they get that stage dried off. So we might, I'm going to check out Casey's maybe. Um, look at this. Look at how picturesque that is. And he's just looking around the world. Beautiful castle. What a beautiful baby. You hungry, Jamesy? I ordered us some Sleepy Hollow. Why don't we go sneak in some? Oh. Whoa. Sleepy Hollow, sweet and spicy, and a Doomberry drink. Wanna try this? 
It's for the 50th. Haunted Mansion came 50th treat. Doomberry. I wish this straw was permanent, but it's paper, but it's cute all the same. Quick interruption from Chicago. I just wanted to say hi. I'm not gonna vlog too much during their park days just because I want I want these videos to be park day videos. And yeah, but I still, I'm going to put in little clips of Teddy here and there. We are going to his very first Wednesday lunch. It's Thursday, but it was postponed because of the weather yesterday. Um, if you didn't know, my family has lunch together every Wednesday. So it's gonna meet a ton of family members today and that's super exciting. So it's a beautiful day here, 75 degrees and uh, we should be at lunch soon. All right, rain came and went. I mean, there might be some more in a little bit, but now begins a bunch of lightning lanes. First up, Prince Charming, Regal Carousel. Oh, James, he's on a carousel. Ready? <laughs> Alright, I think that was a win. He enjoyed that one. But next up, Peter Pan. I'm hoping for a lot of wow. Oh, that's fun, but he's loving everything, like looking at birds, looking at other kids, looking at the rides. Here we go with Peter Pan. Are you ready? Oh, ho, ho. James, you look. I think it's this way, we might end up at a resort to relax at some point today. We're about to, we just got off to Japan. And we're gonna Lightning Lane Haunted. Which I'm very, I'm excited about everything. What are you, who am I kidding? Uh, Megan Petrus is waiting for a monorail right now to come meet us here. She just parked. And I think James, you, James, you might be due for a nap soon. This place looks a little creepy. You want to go in anyway? I think we should. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What is this? Kid can't hang. Fell asleep on Haunted Mansion. On Haunted Mansion. I try to get him into the stroller. We do have a Little Mermaid lightning lane, but we might just have to burn it. I'd rather him get to sleep. After killing it for those rides so much and having food, and James fell asleep on Haunted Mansion, and Megan's here. The second she got in, I was like, hey, can we go to Grand Floridian? Actually, I said, can we go to Contemporary or Grand Floridian? And she picked Grand Floridian, which is what the one I wanted her to pick. Which is the right one. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to sit here because Megan's not going to be here long. You have to go record your like super uber successful podcast or something. I do. So I think we're going to grab some some drinks or a snack or something. And maybe there's a pianist playing. If not, just sit on a couch. Mac and cheese. I'm exhausted. Mac and cheese. I'm exhausted. But I want to make the most of today. So honestly, it's the only thing. Oh, wait. Do you see it, Megan? The best resort on property. Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge. The flags are sticking out. It's not the DVC Lounge, but at Grand Floridian, 
You can get my strawberry cream soda. Did you hear that the DVC lounge is self-serve again? Is it? Yes. Oh, I need to go on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, it happened like days ago. All right, we're at the Grand Foot Inn lobby, just chilling, soaking up the smells, catching up, having some drinks. It's Thirsty's Generation, as Sarah's mom would say. And I think that it looks like the Grand Foot Inn is going to come out. I'll have to check the times. But I was saying before, it's also my life has changed. I haven't even told Sally this yet. The Emporium, you can just walk through now. There's no like designated main entrance with a queue outside of it. It hasn't, that makes me feel like the Emporium has returned to 2019 status. You can like, walk through Casey's. That's you can like walk next through level. Casey's. It makes me feel rejuvenated. That and the self serve DVC lounge, like. We're at the Polynesian now. Look how beautiful and gorgeous. And can you smell it? it smells like heaven. Um, Megan's going to record in a little bit. I am. So she parked in TTC. So we're like, hey, let's mosey on over to the Poly and get some Poly vibes before you go off and I go back to Magic Kingdom. Also, James, still asleep. Been asleep for going on like three or two and a half hours. But he needed it. You smell it? Yeah, it smells like grill. Straight grill. Is that Ohana? Maybe. Smells delicious. Should I see if they have a walk-up available? <laughs> Alright, Megan bought this round of Dole Whips. Thanks, Meg. You're the best. Mm -hmm. We also went to the beach because we're like, oh, it's the Polynesian. Let's go to the beach. And we got to the beach and we're like, it's hot and sunny. So we came to this building here. Which room is this? Hey, how come that? This is a DVC. It is. That's the Matt says DVC. I know. It doesn't smell like DVC. I know. It smells like a one. Right. Um, so we found out this little Entryway, it's got air conditioning, no sun, and cute seats. All right, just said bye to Megan. She's gotta go record a podcast. The game plan is more sunblock. James is still asleep. It's been officially three hours. We're gonna find a bathroom, family bathroom, take the monorail to Magic Kingdom, and we're gonna plant our dope Dumbo pirates who people move if it comes back up and fireworks and then out of here. And we're back at the Magic Kingdom. I love this. I can't wait for the train to come back. And I also love this little, this little poster over here, this little, little saying over here. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. A little bit more calm right now walking in compared to the hustle and bustle of Festival of Fantasy and Rain earlier. <sighs> I could spend every minute of every day of the rest of my life in Disney World parks and resorts. Oh my! It's an honor to Nothing like catching some friendship fair, if you ask me. Well, my friendship fair is still snoozing. <laughs> I just heard that. Look who woke up! Do you see Mickey and Minnie over there? Here, I'll pick you up. Yeah! See Mickey and Minnie and Goofy? And Lewis? Sometimes you just gotta sit and people watch, right? Get some fresh sunblock on, get a fresh bag of Fritos, order some cosmic rays, and people watch. Bet you didn't think James was this big. Wow, big step. Good job, another big step. Good job, let's go get our food. In honor of us missing out, no dip, dip, dip. In honor of missing mom, we set up a mini dip station. Yeah. Because even if you don't want honey mustard and barbecue sauce, you're in Disney World. Sarah Ryan's rule says you have to. So I already did not realize there's some kind of powder on it, but this is like a uh, burger to the moon. It's impossible. It's all plant-based. That's not plant-based. That's for James and me. Mostly James. 
and then french fries this year. And water is to keep hydrated and apple slices. All right, we had a little rest. After James woke up, we had dinner at Cosmics and then FaceTime Sarah for a good while because we miss each other and she misses James and me and we miss Sarah and Teddy. James got to see Teddy and he was giggling. Um, but our lightning lane for winning the crew was up. We, Sarah was able to grab, because she grabbed it while we were on the FaceTime, an 820 Pirates. So we might achieve all of our goals without the exception of people mover because it's down. So this is the one ride I really, 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 really wanted to get on with James was winning the crew. The East Wind traded James was kind of unfazed by that. I think it'll go on him. I think he still gets confused at times. And he willingly laid down just now, so he might be ready for another mini nap. We figured out what we're doing next. I was gonna wait till it was a little darker, but he saw it and was very, very excited. And I'm so excited that I just can't have it. It's almost like you remember this ride or something. Yeah. To make the boat fly higher. That was a good time. Now we only have 30 minutes to go. I think we're gonna walk around the Grand Frontier Land before our Pirates at 825. I think it's got like a half of a second wind, but we just have to go on this ride and then find a spot for the fireworks at 920. Maybe get a sweet treat after this. Maybe get a caffeine for dad. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So while the boys wait for, I almost said happily ever after, enchantment, um, I just wanted to say hi, I'm home, I've been home. Um, this is the time of day where Teddy sort of has been cluster feeding and it feels like he's just like always feeding. So we're doing that and it's just strange to be alone and quiet. I did not take any footage at lunch, um, mostly because it was everybody's besides my sister and her family were there, but mostly everybody's first time meeting him. And I just didn't want to get in people's personal space as they were like just enjoying their time. So I did take a video of his cute outfit he wore. So I'll put that in here. Um, we are going to watch the Umbrella Academy. And once he falls asleep for his first stretch, I plan on doing some photo organizing. That's my big project while the boys are gone. So Enjoy fireworks. Thank you for the kisses and the hugs. We're one minute away from fireworks, everybody. Oh, thank you for such good lovings.
<laughs> Magic Kingdom was a very, very magical day. We love you and we'll see you in November. You have a good day? Now we gotta get back to our hotel, our car, so we can go to our hotel. We finally made it. It's 10 to 11 and we made it. There's like a new Target right there. I think CP Housing is like right there, the new CP Housing. That's like their CP, Walgreens and Target. CP, CP, CP. How many times can I say CP? All right, well, I'm gonna go in and make sure the room's good and we're situated and we're good. And then we'll get a room tour. Oh. James is doing good. Let's go. So good? Why, why? Yeah. Um, they have like some really cool Galaxy's Edge marketing here. There's like a, not a BBA, but a BB something, like a ball droid in the lobby. This is cool. We got some snacks, you know, liquids. Fancy. Wanna hop out? Wanna give a room tour? Pretty basic, simple room. I think I got the place for like, hey. Oh, there's a tub. I can give James a bath in the morning. Yes. So shower, bathtub combo, pretty basic. Um, it's a new build hotel, King. Um, the view of ours, I think, is just out to the sister Spring Hill Suites. Right? Oh, pool action. Nice. Um, let's get the remote for the TV right there. Kind of very business-esque, cool desk area. Oh, there's a bar and grill, I think, that's in the Spring Hill Suites. Okay, it's kind of cool. Stove top, kitchenette. All right, all right. Oh, iron, we'll need that. All right, there it is. We're just here, we check out tomorrow morning. Thank you, everybody. Now I have to call Sarah to give her the tour and FaceTime her and show her James. And then Sarah and I have to figure out how we're gonna get the footage to her. Where are you going, James? Come help me sign off. You're delirious. I got you some Belvita and some Doritos though. Say, it's good to be home. Mm. Oh, good night. Evie's exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Teddy's exhausted. I don't think we mentioned about Evie going to the vet. She had some tests done, some blood work done, and we'll have updates on that soon. Um, she is on. Teddy started crying and she started, she creeped in behind me. Um, but she's on some nausea, anti-nausea medication that she's taken too well. And uh, sorry, I had to sit down to comfort Teddy. Um, but yeah, everything with Evie is just precautionary. And we just want to make sure that we're not missing anything, that, that we're not overlooking anything that comes up. So we'll keep you updated on that for sure. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.